Security will be beefed up after receiving death threats. On Wednesday evening, police informed the commission that Agrizi's life might be in danger following his testimony earlier this year. Agrizi then implicated several Bosasa officials as well as ministers and government officials for being on the payroll of the facility management company. He revealed that Bosasa paid bribes worth millions to score lucrative state contracts. Back on the witness stand, Agrizi alleged that at some point the top six received 12 million rands worth of donations from Bonsasa. It's assumed he referred to the ANC top six. Back in the hot seat, after his January testimony, Agris received death threats conveyed to the commission by police on Wednesday evening. Despite his life being in danger, Agris is adamant to continue testifying. Um, Last night, the investigators received a message from a very senior police officer saying that your life was under threat and this was on reliable information. You're aware of that? So I get a lot of these things. I get missed calls. I get funny numbers. I get put onto these Facebook groups and a lot of that. So I, I came out of breakfast one morning at Nickelway and I found this on my windscreen. I actually, what I've learned to do is to throw them away. But this specific one, I crumpled up and I thought, no, let me just keep this. And I called the, the guys who washed the cars there and I asked them if they saw. And they said, no, no, they didn't see anything. Um, and it so happened that Mr. Dutton was meeting me with, um, with Patrick at uh, the advocate's offices. And I said to them, by the way, can you interpret this for me? And I gave it to them. And that's probably why it's there. But, it, you know, I've learned... I take it in my stride now, I accept it, and yes, it's going to happen. And I've been cautioned, I've been told that um, perhaps maybe I should take these things more seriously, which I will. In further testimony, Agris clarified his earlier evidence, but he also revealed that he was aware of a 12 million rand donation to the top six, presumably the ANC's top leadership. I know of large donations given to the top six at one stage of 10, 12 million rand checks that were taken there. And it always appeared as if it was just taken there because then there's a meeting. But the, you, you're 100% right, Chair. Once, once the, others, the other people see that that company is very proliferant, don't touch it. Don't mess with it. It's working. Don't touch it. Because if you touch it, you might lose your job. Agrizi says Busasa received a favorable PEE rating from a rating agency by paying a bribe. That is for a gentleman that did the Empowerdex rating, and his agreement was he'd give us a preferential rating if he got 40,000 rand per company. Agrizi is expected to reveal more on Friday. Ntlantla Khatlani, SABC News, Johannesburg.